Hello kids. Namaste. Hola. Today we are going to read story book Ladybird Stories for 3 year olds written by Joanne Stimson and illustrated by Angela Peterson. The name of the story is No Room for Panda. Lucy's dad was a sailor. He sailed the world in a big ship. When he came home, he liked to bring presents. One day, Lucy's dad sailed to China. When he came home, he brought a very special present. In fact, you could say it was a giant present. Lucy's dad had brought home a panda. Lucy was thrilled. Her mom was shocked. She didn't know if they had room for a panda. That night, panda slept in Lucy's bed. It was a bit of a squash. The next day Lucy got ready for nursery. She waited at the bus stop with mum and panda. Panda stuck his paw out when the bus came. But the bus conductor was firm. Sorry, he said. Panda's too big for my bus. Mum, Lucy and Panda walked all the way to playground. Panda shook hands with Miss Roberts. He was keen to join in. But Panda got stuck halfway down the playground side. Miss Roberts called the fire brigade. Then she called Lucy's mum. "I am sorry," she said. "Panda is too wide for playground." Mum collected Lucy and Panda early. She decided to do some shopping. Panda had never been to a supermarket. He wanted to ride in the trolley. But Panda was too heavy. He squashed the trolley flat. "I am sorry," said the manager. "Panda will have to shop somewhere else." Lucy trudged home with mum and panda. They told dad all about it. Lucy's dad had a brain wave. "Hmm, let's go swimming," he said. "There will be plenty of room for panda." The swimming trip began well. Panda could swim like a fish. He gave the children rides on his back. But Panda was too bouncy. He made great waves in the pool. The attendant blew his whistle. "Time's up, Panda," he said. "I am getting soaked." Lucy's mom helped to dry Panda. Mom, Dad, Lucy, and Panda started to walk home. On their way, they passed the zoo. Panda tugged at Lucy's hand. He wanted to see the other animals. The zookeeper smiled at Panda. No charge for pandas, he said. Suddenly, everyone knew what to do. Mom, Dad, and Lucy agreed to leave Panda at the zoo. The keeper said they could visit whenever they wanted. Panda looked round his new home. He liked the company. He liked the space. Mum, Dad, and Lucy waved goodbye to Panda. Then they went home on the bus. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Bye.